Hello everybody, this is Gasbet Games and welcome back to Cost 101. Today we're going to fully c uh, cover the tailors, how you earn them, and how the exactly all the crafting and stuff like that works on the Night Raiders event, as well as cover my new legendary weapons, the Reapers. First of all, I do want to note out that this is going to be my last Cross 101 episode or any episode at all before my vacation. So after this, I will no longer reply to any questions in the uh, comment sections or upload any new videos for the next three or three and a half weeks. Anyway, that said, let's get right into it. Okay, first off, we've got our new uh, currency called Tailors. I'll have to go to the market, get to my resources. Here we got it. Tailors. Tailors are earned in both just the standard missions, right here, as well as just standard PvP battles. For missions, the one y if you have a new ch daily challenge, if you had any uh, old ones, they still give two hundred. Normally, give two hundred scrap metal, but now for the duration of the event, it will give one hundred scrap metal and one hundred tailors. And for every PvP match you win and survive, you get one tailor as well. And that's being said, tailors are used for crafting this steel cavalry container, which is found in the Wanderer's Workshop. Uh, this thing costs 500 scrap metal, 50 copper, and 300 of these tailors. If I go to the crate itself, parameters, you have a low chance on getting a tsunami, an average chance to get a spike, fuse, or huntsman, or high chance to get a goblin, gun mount, wheels, steering, armored skull, and bludgeon. And you also have a small chance getting plate steel, Teutonic Cross, Teutonic Eagle, or Teutonic Stripes. All these parts are tradable. Uh, I do not think anybody yet has gotten a Tsunami, because the Tsunami is probably going to have a lower than 1% chance to get actually dropped. Probably around 0.3%. So, if you get it, you're extremely, extremely lucky. Especially considering that this crate is sold for over 400 coins and uh, bought for just under 400. This thing can give her a legendary, but it has a high chance of giving her a rare. And a, that's going to be one expensive rare for, well, uh, let's see at the market currently. Weapons, epic. If you get the goblin, you can sell it for. Just over 200 coins, so you actually will lose 200 coins for not selling the crate. So if you want to get goblins, I suggest cra maybe crafting the crate and selling them, or just selling the tailors in your normal in 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 your normal earning way if selling other parts, and buy them instead. Although I also suggest if you want to get one of the items and you do not want to get them by crate, just wait towards the end of the event because right now the prices are pretty high. For example, if I go to my spike one, actually not really mine, but the spike one in the crate here, you can see it's sold for over three and a half thousand, and it was six point five thousand before that, and so it's gonna be undercut, undercut, undercut quite a lot, and the price is gonna drop pretty damn steeply before the end of the event. Again, I will not be able probably to cover any of these weapons for quite a while because again tomorrow I'll be going on vacation and I will not be able to press it, uh, press it sorry uh, participate in the entire event I will just li I'm literally gonna miss the entire event which is actually rather sad anyway that aside we're gonna cover our two meaty captain guns that I got on here the Reaper. The Reaper is a minigun class weapon. It is a it fires auto cannon projectiles. So not machine gun projectiles but auto cannon projectiles. So those big those broader big projectiles. It has a very high rate of fire but it needs time to spin up the barrel. Its power score is nineteen hundred and fifty. 
which is standard for six energy train legendaries. It has a DPS of around 150 on the cabin, so just sheer DPS. And uh, it has a very high rate of fire, although its range and accuracy are rather limited. It takes quite a while for it to overheat, but uh, uh, so uh, so it is a heat-based weapon, but it also consumes ammo. So it has a t uh, ammo pool, standard ammo pool of 260 pieces, a 308 points of structure, six energy drain, as said before, and 603 kilograms of mass. Also, every tenth projectile shot from this gun will penetrate up to two meters of armor. And if I'm not mistaken, four blocks, like for this, this length, that is one meter. If I'm not mis again, if I'm not mistaken, so it means you will be able to per penetrate. If you hit it right here, you will be able to damage the cabin. So eight layers of armor, it will just penetrate it and will get that hit off. And one of these hits is around 30 damage maybe so you could in theory get mm, you might actually be able to get a one shot on a gas generator although you will not be able to get a one shot on something like an ammo pack probably the hash generator uh, wait a second here we got it as it just generator Parameters 26 point of structure. If that penetrating hit uh, happens to hit this hazardous generator, it will explode. So that ma does make it quite a dangerous weapon. Although with the only the health pool of only 380 and it being like impossible to armor around because if you decide to like place it one lower than actually what's in front of it, it's gonna have this rather awkward. Our firing our, our angle and you will not be able to fire downwards so that's kind of annoying although for some other weapons it is the same and actually that's better <laughs> All right, let's go into a battle you will be seeing if I survive and win you will see that I will also have one tailor in the rewards and just we're gonna see how this gun plays out. I do have quite a few ammo packs underneath the rig, total four of them. So I have 572 ammo in each of the guns. You can see the spinning up effect. It does not fire at immediately. You have to hold the mouse button for just over a second to, in order to actually fire. So three, two, one, fire. this there. Here my cooling is very colloquy. I got 300% cooling bonus on this thing. So where are those missiles coming from? No, oh, those were those. Damn it. That guy is a missile unit. I don't want to get shot by another volley so I'm gonna go out of here. Focus on getting this shotgun. No one has rare, so kind of easy to defeat. Dark and destroyed. And where is that guy going? Let's go this way. Actually, no, I'm gonna. Where is he shooting his missile from? Damn it. Oh, he shot the wall. Good. Time to unload on him. Got him. I probably hit some ammo packs because I did over 1000 damage right there. And GG. You can see, <laughs> it's just a very high rate of fire. And here we got the Taylor. Yes, it's gonna be a slow earning rate, especially considering you're gonna need 300 of these Taylors to craft one of those crates. Yeah, it's gonna take a while. So you can get, of course, again with the daily challenges, you can get one of them a day. It does take quite a while. Alright, next match. 
Oh, we got a squad of Hell Riders. These are the one, one of the top Clan Wars groups, so I am not looking forward to fire, fighting those. And there are also actually some other guys out here I see that I know from the close beta. And hey, another Hell Raider. Hell Raiders fighting Hell Raiders. Nice. Let's see what. Bike. <laughs> Guess it's good we do not have that AI. I do not like those AIs. They're way too weak. They need to add the higher power score AIs, in my opinion. Otherwise, it's really not fair. Got Reapers right there. I need to work on getting a myself a under cabin Reaper build. Once I get like large wheels or uh, something like legs, then I can start working on a under cabin. Oh crap, is there four of them? I'm out here. I am officially out here. <laughs> I'm not gonna fight a 4v1 again. Although, I have won a 4v1 with this build. Exactly, actually, this exact build. But that was mainly because all four were focusing on one other guy. And I disarmed two of the four of them before they even could react. And the other two only had two carcasses and two turret cannons. Okay, that capper is dead. Shotgun. Shotgun disarmed. And me disarmed. All these freaking shotguns. Oh well, there we go. Here we got a triple cannon build by the looks of it. This guy is disarmed. Twin shotgun, he's gonna get disarmed pretty soon. Yeah. Got a twin fat man. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> I kinda, kinda wanna see Psycho, what he is exactly. If under cabin guns. Yeah, uh, if you might you might have noticed or not, you can maybe can get back to the uh, earlier video. You can see how these shots actually were coming from below him. He's probably firing from underneath the cabin. Or at least at a very low height. And this is gonna be hard if we win this. It's gonna be pretty damn lucky. Although actually they only have one guy left. And he cannot cap. And that's a good pretty nice. Anyway, that's it for this episode. Again, this is the last episode I will upload. I will not respond to questions in the comments for now. And uh, after my vacation is done, I will be able to record again like normally. I will start with the giveaway because, yes, I guys, I won the video contest. So I will soon get a key for Tramp back, which is uh, this one, which will contain... A, the Tramp vehicle, which contains the Executioner 88mm cannon, an extended ammo pack, a bear, uh, bear cabin, as well as two armor tracks. You've got the new port portrait survivor, the Diggers of Dashes and Remarch Metallic spray cans, 3500 in game coins. Although uh, this version is kind of more expensive, uh, you get slightly more coins. Which is no longer available. You get like two or three thousand of them when the event ends. Uh, when in when you get this version, so I got actually got the close better version, which had more coins. And here you can see the expanded ammo pack. You also get a pair of exhausts and a pair of square covers, a car jack, and some decent like small like parts like half walls, uh, long pipe shields and turbo baller so if you're very much a starting player you get quite a boost in terms of armor you got a uh, you get the bear cabin which is a really good cabin in my opinion 
and you get this Executioner 88mm cannon and ammo pack for it. And of course the tracks will help you out and it will get you a decent way into the game. If you, if you would sell the, uh, these parts you would go for the get the bear for around 400 and get around let's see how much are the epics right now 370 let's say that so all 370 you get four no, five times 370 coins out of this as well as uh, around 3000 coins of the pack itself so you get you can look at the balance of around 4.5 thousand coins of value in, in this pack if you would sell them all and if you're lucky you might be able to get uh, two legendaries from that val pack value so yes this this is actually uh, the thing that I will giving away f since I won that uh, competition only because of you guys because you guys voted for me and as thank you I will give away this pack since I as said I ar already own this one so I cannot put it in my own account so to get better content out because I'll, otherwise I would have done it so get to get the coins and get some parts that I did not cover yet so I can cover them better but since I already own the pack it will go to one of you guys and that giveaway will start around end uh, August uh, so it will still take a while stay tuned I will upload a new episode uh, after I'm back when I start the actual giveaway and how you can enter and everything else will be set in that video anyway that's it for today. I hope you guys all enjoyed. And I will see you guys all in three weeks. Bye bye.